Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now here in my hands, the Envoy 17 messenger bag from VanQuest. The reality is, well, I carry an everyday carry bag, my EDC, and I've been carrying my current EDC for a number of months and it's time to change things up. So what we're going to do today, we're going to take a look at this Envoy 17 in detail. I'll go through the bag, show you all the features, then I'm going to swap out my kit, which I've had for a long time. My EDC kit definitely works for me, and it's just a matter of whether or not that kit can efficiently and effectively transition into this bag. So we'll transition my kit over to see if it's going to work for me. Now I'm going to put this thing to some good quality daily use. And so with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at VanQuest who did provide this for review. And if you like what you see here today, do me a favor, take a look in the description box below where you can get more details as to where you can get your hands on one of these great bags. And so again here, the Envoy 17 Messenger Bag. Now this is the larger of the two Envoy bags. There is a smaller version. So this one's going to be nice and wide, fairly large, solid capacity. And on top of everything else for me, has the ability to fit my current laptop, which I used to use a smaller tablet style laptop. Now I'm a little bit more full sized. And so as we work our way through the features, I will be pretty much getting this bag set up. So the first thing, as we take a look at the outside, nice large flap, this opens up wonderfully and you'll notice Velcro down which is awesome. So if you just close this real quick, you do have at least a level of security, but then opening this up, you have the ability to leverage buckles as well. Good quality Duraflex buckles, very robust, well-built. Everything about VanQuest premium materials from the Cordura fabric. And you can see here in the Wolf Gray, all the way through the name brand Duraflex buckles, you can see that the buckles themselves are branded with the VanQuest logo. Just very, very nice. Now, typically with the Envoy, and we'll see as we get into this, you do have the ability to potentially cover up the Velcro strips if you just want this to kind of close without that. I'm not sure if that's included, but we'll figure that out as we get into this. On the inside, plenty of room, but the first thing you'll notice, that beautiful high-vis interior. That is one thing that VanQuest does absolutely a magnificent job. The high-vis interior absolutely beautiful tons of pockets and subdivided areas within the van quest bags so in the back side here you can see a nice open sleeve for your laptop or tablet which at this point i will get mine put into here now you can see again and i will get a measurement of this in annotate below but i have a fairly wide laptop that's going to fit in there nicely secured over the top with that strap. As we turn the bag around, you can see, again, some additional pockets. So Velcro pockets and organization here. So that is awesome. Very easy right there on the outside of the bag. Again, flipping it back around some pockets really to slip some different sort of items in here. Now I have ideas about exactly what's gonna go into each one of these locations. But again, you can see everything here is Velcro lined. So if you wanna set up your bag for tools or other EDC items, that's gonna work very well. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And so I will need a place to stash my power cord on the outside here. You can see these nice Velcro pockets about perfect for that. Now, the other thing would be if you had something like an external mouse or something that you wanted to also stash, I can see that working very well here on the outside of the bag. The next thing for me, well, you'll see I have some, uh, I guess, notebooks and a little bit of paperwork that I like to maintain. So that's going to be next, which I always maintain some sort of a simple notebook here in a nice leather cover. And I'm hoping that this fits right here in this sleeve, which it does literally absolutely perfectly. Fits right there exactly as I need it. That is just wonderful. And you'll hear me say this a few times 
Uh, I've said this in the past. I will echo the sentiment again. It's one thing to have good organization, but if you can't work effectively out of your EDC bag, it's not really what you need. So the ability to effectively work out of this bag is going to be key. And as I just put this down, it sits upright. This is not falling over, it's not flopping over. It's sturdy, it's stout, it's secure. It gives me what I need for a platform to again, work out of my bag effectively. So, so far, I'm already very happy with this. And so next, every week I get a pay stub, I need a place to maintain those. And to me, being able to just slip that in easily, right in that other pocket there, that's going to be nice. So each week, just slide them right in there and then when this gets too full pretty much i'll remove them and get rid of them but that's exactly how i'm going to operate there so again these pockets here are perfect for my needs working out very well so far and so as we continue to build out my edc organization there are some other pockets to take into consideration now i'm going to get into some of my tool management not only do you have the velcro in your main compartment However, you have this awesome pocket across the front, nice and zippered with Velcro lining. So on the back side, the Velcro lining, and then it's just a ripstop nylon on the front. But for me, this might be perfect where I have a number of Velcro lined pouches. So I've been carrying a lot of this gear for quite a while and having my tools and basic needs with me always does come into play all the time. I have people who are like, oh, do you have a screwdriver? I'm like, yep. Like not a lot of people have what they need for their everyday sort of business, yet I always do. And I guess that's part of the preparation and you know everyday carry mentality. So when you've been doing it for a while, you kind of live and breathe it, and I certainly do. Now you can see here, this is going to work out pretty well where I'm gonna get a couple of my tool pouches right across the front. I don't need to go into these every single day. I don't need these getting in my way every single day, but when I need them, I need them. So being in this pocket in the front, well, here's my tools, and the other thing is, well, let's just say maybe you are into off-body concealed carry, something worth noting. This particular pouch here does have a lockable zipper track, which is really nice. So you do have the ability to put sort of like a, a luggage lock on there if you need to. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And if I felt as though I needed to, you know, potentially lock up my tools, which I don't, but I certainly could. Again, more pouches with tools. This is something that I found works very well. This is actually to hold magazines, uh, so for firearms, but these work awesome for multi-tools and especially with the Velcro backing in combination with the VanQuest sort of Velcro lined pockets, you end up in really, really good shape. So fitting that down on the inside there, as I get this up, you can see it is just making a nice, easy and organized tool pocket for me. So this is gonna have all my basic tools in here and that's gonna work out mighty nice. Now there's still plenty of room in here if I wanted to build this out. I do have some additional pouches that kind of becomes a basic admin for me. I have simple things like for example, my uh, ink refills and pencil leads and little things like that for my mechanical pencils. Then across the front, I do end up with just some writing utensils that I slip in here, little basic necessities. This is one of VanQuest's admin pockets. It works very well. Again, it is Velcro lined and it works in these systems extremely well. So as we take a look around here, I could try to fit it in this section, but I think that's enough. I mean, this bag has more than enough organization. I could certainly go back to this side and I will probably do that, fitting this down and inside nicely down and into place. You can see that just gives me a nice little admin pocket down and inside. So very simple. Doesn't take up a ton of space. And again, I still have a lot of room here for additional items if I just want to dump things in here for my daily needs. Now, another thing worth noting, let's just say you have this closed and everything's all buckled up and tidy. And if there were some simple things that you still want to be able to get out here, but you don't want to have to open the entire thing up, 
Well, you can just zip this across the top and you still have access. I would struggle maybe a little bit to get my laptop out of here. I think I could, but if I needed my notebook, well, my notebook's just right on the front. I can get that out and use it, and that's gonna be nice. So you don't necessarily need to completely open this thing up all the way to be able to utilize you know, that compartment and get your needs out of there. So that's a nice feature. Over the top, beautiful grab handle. You can see one on each side, nicely padded, box stitched. That's another thing that VanQuest does very well. Box stitching generally in the stress points and inverted zipper tracks, which does help to protect the zippers. Self-healing YKK zippers, just very nicely done. Now I typically end up with a little bit of redundancy in my kit. I do carry multiple multi-tools for a reason because, well, sometimes you need multiple sets of pliers. And so I'm hoping that this will still fit in here. It's a little bit the wrong shape. So what I'm gonna do is switch things up just to make this work. I'm gonna remove my bits. I'm now going to get both sets of multi-tools in this pocket and then slide these back in and I hope everything fits which right away looks like yes it will so I'm gonna actually be able to ditch one of my organizers and maybe I'll repurpose this at a later time and the last thing I just have a nice set of small precise screwdrivers so electronic screwdriver set I do get into working on various electronics and these are going to slip right down inside so at this point you can see a well built out tool pocket just perfect that's going to be fantastic and really suit my needs now we're going to shift gears across the front of the bag you can see this does have a little built-in admin section so i'll probably just get my regularly used pen marker pencil whatever slide those right in the front now i have a ton of little things that i always need to manage like, and you'll see, just a pocket on a pocket, and then the admin section. And then same here, unzipping across the front. That is, again, that tool pocket. But then in front of that, you end up with a nice big slip pocket. So things that I need to get to easily, like, for example, my keys, which I will take and simply put in there. So that's going to be nice what I call my backup wallet, which has some of my critical cards right in there. That will be nice. And sometimes while I'm just hanging around, I do like to stash my phone. You do need a place to sometimes put your phone. So can I fit both of these in there? I'm getting a little bit of, I would call, competition of space. So now that things are starting to get stacked out and taking up volume and depth, I am running into a bit of competition of space so i do need to be a little bit careful i could certainly leverage this pocket for my phone that's not going to go in full depth my phone is fairly large so i'm kind of coming back to this pocket here that will probably work but again you can see things are starting to get tight on the front of the bag so i do need to think a little bit carefully about what goes in here now at this particular time, I do have some cables for data transfer and device charging. So my cables typically end up being, I guess what I would call mission specific. And I'm away right now and I need a little bit of redundancy and some few extra cables to keep me managed. So this is actually going to work out very well and simple, easy to get to them, nice and managed right on the front of the bag. That's cool. Again, we have that Velcro pocket here. This for me, is going to be just a little catch-all for right now. So I have some change. I'm just going to drop that right in there. This pocket's just that quick, easy dump, sort of catch-all pocket that just ends up with some odds and ends, some receipts for some of the business that I've done. So change and receipts and things that I just need to keep track of. That's actually about perfect. I'm going to go back to the outside of the bag. So this is the external flap. Again, you end up with some nice large pockets. These are fairly thin and I don't want to bulk these out too much because they will tend to stick out just a little bit. But I have a small right in the rain notebook, which I am going to put in there. So just easy if you need to scribble something down real quick, take a quick little note, no problem. And so at this point, I'm getting pretty close to build out with all of my gear. A few last considerations worth noting. 
So as we get to the inside, the nice thing is at this point, if I have general paperwork or things like that, I mean, I'm typically running around with some sort of a folder or the need to manage at least a little bit of paperwork. I do still seem to have plenty of space here. I could probably even fit like a three ring binder or something like that. As we spin the bag around to the back side, now I've been pretty careful not to build this out to the point where it gets too bulky. Again, if you like CCW, you'll notice that you have your lockable zipper track and then opening this up, that's a nice size. You end up with good overall padding on the inside and then again, you end up with your Velcro lining and then here that rip stop nylon. So this for me is another place where I might carry some paperwork or a notebook, very simple, the ability to get this in here. And then the other thing that's nice is if you're somebody that has multiple devices, you have multiple locations within this bag to help to manage that. And furthermore, you'll notice simple zipper here for easy little access. If you have little things that you need to put in here or keep close to your body, that's gonna work out. And this is a pass-through where if you use this to travel, you can put this over the handle of your luggage and carry this bag easily. Couple little additional small slip pockets here, just full of areas to help manage your gear. On the side, you end up with a gusseted water bottle pocket, which is awesome. I will try to leverage this for my canteen. A lot of times I will sort of finish my uh, coffee in the morning and I just like to slip my mug in there. It's tight, I think it will fit, but let's check it out real quick. Which on this side, again, it's tight, but that will go. And that could just be a factor of some of the things I have built into the bag. On this side, same situation. Opening that up, plenty of room here. That slides in with ease. So this side, it's gonna be a little bit easier. So the fact that you have the dual sleeves is awesome. And then sometimes I will actually, if it will work, zip this shut just to get that nice and snug in there so that it can't accidentally pop out. So that's cool, I love it. This is gonna work out very well for my needs. And at this point, you can see, I do have this bag just beautifully built out for my everyday carry needs. And so as we wrap this up, all in all, very nice. You can see tons of features, very well done. Excellent zippers, hardware, zipper pulls, handles, the stitching, the material, and at this point now, the carry which as I sling this over my shoulder, obviously multiple ways you can carry this, nicely padded, beautifully. And you can see here, you end up with this retention system. So that just slid up on me a little bit. You can see I can waste carry this if I want to and kind of spread things out. So this does have an adjustable clip, kind of get this cinched down and helps hold everything and managed while it's on me. It gives you just the ability to kind of keep everything tidy, locked in, so if you're on the move or you're traveling, that's gonna stay nice and firm. It's not gonna fall off. So this makes a really nice messenger bag, nice EDC bag, office carry, traveling, all kinds of excellent uses. So here, the Envoy 17 from VanQuest, very, very nice. And so again, there you have it, guys. A look at the Envoy 17 from VanQuest. VanQuest always doing a fantastic job. Their bags are incredibly nice, very well made, well engineered, thought through, all the design elements always in place. That's absolutely the case here with the Envoy 17. And so if you like what you see here, do me a favor, look in the description box below where you can get details on where to get one of these. And if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.